this might be a bit of a longer term issue. Gregor says Yamamoto has missed a month on two separate occasions already this season. The first was for a concussion when he was placed on LTIR in January. It was because of neck issues. His body was misaligned. Gregor says he had a similar issue that Sidney Crosby had over a decade ago. And for a long time, they thought it was concussion re- concussion related for Crosby turned out to be neck and vestibular. So, and Gregor says it impacted his balance as well. Okay, that right there, the fact that we're talking about that level of stuff here with Kyler Yamamoto, I I feel bad for the guy. I really do. Um, it sucks. And he's a smaller player, and you worry about him just because of his size, and he's a, he's a pit bull, right? He loves getting into those dangerous areas, but then you can't avoid getting hit in the head when you're five, six, seven inches smaller than some of these big defensemen. I, for his own sake, I say shut him down. Like... I'm not even talk I'm not talking about just to be like an LTIR Kutra bring him back for the playoffs. There is a part of me and I know I don't under I don't know all the medical stuff and if he's fine I'd love to see him back, but there is a part of me that just says dude, your long-term health is really important. Sit for the season. Like don't even play in the playoffs, man. Like get yourself sorted out mm-hmm. and come back next year when you're 100%, but don't come back if you're even 99% because I'm worried about this stuff happening again. Yeah, and I completely agree. Just on the human side of it all, Tyler, like this, yeah. this is a young man. He's only 24 years old, and you, this is the third time this season he's had this similar injury, and how many more times is it going to just keep occurring, right, until you fully figure it out? Mm-hmm. So I think it would be wise for Yamamoto just to take a step back, and even if it was for the rest of the regular season and maybe a few games in the playoffs too, until he fully yeah. feels it, but... The Oilers just got to look at this from a different side of things and not just like, well, we need him because he's a good player for us in the sense of they need to look at it and say, is this guy going to be able to play again if he gets another injury like this? Like, They need to be really mm-hmm. careful what they're doing here. And yeah, I just hope, he, hope he's going to be okay.